Hey guys, it's Jim from Illustrator How. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about align panel in Adobe Illustrator. If you want to align objects, center objects, or if you want to distribute objects evenly, you definitely don't want to miss this video. Okay, so what is a line panel in Adobe Illustrator? Actually, if you have your object selected, you will see the align panel under the properties panel so that you don't necessarily have to open the align panel. And from here, you can actually just click on more options and you will be able to see the whole align panel here. However, if you want to go with the traditional way, you can open align panel from the overhead menu window and align. There are many options on the align panel. You can align objects like horizontal left, center, horizontal right, or then you can do vertical top, vertical center, and vertical bottom. And then you can also distribute objects, pretty much the same options. And here you can also distribute the spacing. So if you want to distribute your object evenly with um, the even space between the circle, let's say, you can choose these options here. And then here you have the align tool options. For example, if you want to align object to the center of the artboard, you can select align tool, and then here you can either choose horizontal align center or vertical align center. And then you have the align to key object option and align to oh and align to selection option. The align to selection option is default options. Um, I will show you how it works. Okay, so I created four circles here, and let's say that you want to align these four circles together, probably in a horizontal line. In this case, you actually have to click vertical align center. Now, how about if you want to have the even spacing between these circles? In this case, you can click on horizontal distribute center, and it will create the evenly spacing between the objects, or you can click here. Okay, now let me show you another example. Okay, again, I'm going to select everything. So when you select more than one object, it's going to show a line to selection. So now let's say that I want to align everything to the circle on the left, which is the red one. So I'm going to click horizontal align left. And then same thing. You can try different options. Okay, so now how about let's try the align to artboard option. So for example, I chose to align everything to the artboard and I want everything to be at the top of the artboard. In this case, once you have everything selected, simply click vertical align top and all the circles will appear on the top of the artboard. You only, three, you only see three circles here because these two, they were overlapping. Okay. And then now let's see how does the align to key object option work. Same thing. I just selected everything and then I'm going to align to key object. When you choose the align to key object option, you will see kind of a blue outline around the circle. Well, which means that this object is selected as a key object. You can change a key object by simply clicking on the object that you want the rest to align to. So I'm going to choose this orange, let's say as a key object. And then if I click horizontal align center, everything is going to align to this object. And then if I change the key object to this one, then everything is going to align to this object. Since you chose a distribute objects option, you can also manually adjust the spacing between the objects. So yeah, that's pretty much how the align panel works in Adobe Illustrator. If you want to align objects and, uh, and create an even space between the objects, all you need to do is uh, center align objects either horizontally or vertically. 
and then click the distribute spacing option and then it's going to distribute the object evenly and remember if you want to align object to a selection you should choose the align to options to align to selection and if you want to align object to artboard we will choose align to artboard and if you have a key object which you want the rest of the shape to align to you will choose align to option align to key object so if you want to align text to objects or align text only it definitely works the same way as aligning objects Let's say I have this paragraph text and I want to place it in the center of the artboard. It's super easy. All I need to do is select the text box and choose align to artboard. And I'm going to just click vertical align center and horizontally align center. And then the text is in the absolute center of the artboard. Let's say you have a title and then you want to align the pyro with the title obviously now they are not 100% aligned and then since the text box is already aligned to the center of the artboard so in this case you want the title to follow the position of the text box so in this case when you choose both you could definitely choose align to selection however we are going to choose align to key object since I already know my key object is this paragraph of text so select both align to key object, select these tags and horizontal align center. I know the options can sound a little bit confusing. I do have a couple of articles talking about how to align objects or text in Adobe Illustrator. So if you are interested to learn more about how to align text in Adobe Illustrator, which can be super useful when you create uh, artwork that contains a lot of text content so I do have an article which I will add the link in the description below and then if you want to learn more about how to evenly space object in Adobe Illustrator I also have an article which you can find the link in the description below and this method is super useful when you are creating like uh, a layout design Okay, so that's everything you need to know about the align panel in Adobe Illustrator. If you want to learn more about Illustrator basics, I do have a beginner's course, which I will have the link in the description below. And um, yeah, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give me a thumb up and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future tutorials.